Shika Baloch from Government College of Commerce and Economics, Karachi, Sindh, Pakistan. Uh, as the world is facing COVID-19, so we are, have been locked down and uh, education process were like uh, hindered because of that. So our government decided to continue the education process through online lecturing. So we are the part of that. And uh, for that reason, today's topic is uh, uh, income state and balance sheet from first year accounting, Department of Commerce. At the end of this lecture, a student will be able to understand about the financial statement, especially about income statement and balance sheet. A student will be able to solve the problems from the past paper after that. As you know, there basically there are four types of uh, financial statement. One is uh, income statement, second is balance sheet, third is statement of cash flows, and fourth is statement of honor equity. Our first year accounting is basically focusing on sole proprietorship, so we will be discussing throughout this lecture more on income statement and balance sheet. This is the flow chart that shows that income statement has three components that revenue and expenses and profit so goes for same goes for the income uh, balance sheet also like assets liability and honor equity component of income statement earlier that is should been shown in the flow chart that is revenue the money that company earns during the production process that is revenue that company is generating by employing a lot of resources human resources material resources information resources and financial resources and uh, expenses the money that uh, company pays out during that production process pays to its employees pays to uh, pays its bills and um, pays transportation cost and a lot of other expenses that incur during the production process and income is that uh, then when you subtract the expenses from the revenue you get the income and that is left for the owner that the, the the person who is the owner of that company income statement shows financial record of the firm or company revenues and expenses and its profit over a period of time for suppose how you will get the idea that how company is uh, going and uh, what is performance how its employees are doing and uh, whether that company is doing in a, like its health is good or not how you will get to know you will get to know this when you go through the income statement of that company for example you can open right now like uh, 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 income statement of uh, procter gamble or unilever or anything just to get the idea Though they are not the sole proprietorship, they are the multinational companies. But to get the idea, you can like gauge the situation that how these companies are performing. So income statement actually is the like a uh, front liner for anything that uh, that whether the investor or any anyone like within internal or external people can get the information about the company. It shows the financial performance of the firm. It focuses on revenue and costs associated with the generation of that revenue. It would tell you about the cost, how much it has incurred during the month or during a year, that is fiscal or financial year, and how much the company has earned through that, uh, like uh, that cost that is incurred during the process. Income statement has actually the parts that uh, I will tell you about the. Operating part that is income statement concerned with the revenue and expenses. The non-operating part is the like uh, interest expenses and taxes. Operating part does mean that the things which has been put on the time of the production, like uh, administrative cost, like uh, employees doing work, labor is doing work, machinery has been done, like it's doing. Uh, it has been operating through day and night so these are the things which are the part of production tax is not the part of production actually you are paying that to government and interest you are paying to the bank though the money has been used for that on which you are paying interest or for example if there is a multinational company then they pay a dividend 
and they paid interest if they any sort of thing is like that so this is how company go on they have the uh, operating parts and non operating parts also why income statement as I earlier told you about that income statement tell the health of a company income statement helps you identifying analyzing risk and opportunities for the business and on that basis uh, forecasts are made to improve the performance of the business this is really very really helpful for the investor creditors even the owner itself go towards the financial statements and analyze the situation of their company and for say for example if you are a uh, owner of a coffee shop and you want to open an another outlet in another area what will you do you need investors actually then how you will pursue them that they should invest in your business you will show them your financial statement that is basically your income statement and your balance sheet you will show to them that you are doing really very well and uh, up to par and uh, uh, if the second outlet you will open then it will also generate the same revenue or more than that even so this is how you engage your investors through your in statements that is income statement or balance sheet this is the pattern this is the format that we follow for the income statement sales less cost of goods sold gross profit you will get and from that gross profit you have to subtract the other things like operating expenses general and admin expenses selling expenses and research and development if the company has like like for is for like earlier i have told you for suppose if you are going to open an outlet in another area for your coffee shop then you will go and do the research and you will also bring some sort of improvements in your coffee in your ambiance in your location uh, like uh, uh, layout of your shop so do you do the research and development mostly research and development are the followed by the medicines and uh, like uh, in financial performance like the multinational companies have their department sole proprietor doesn't have but sometimes they also follow this pattern less interest expenses and taxes you will get the income now focus on the cost of goods sold cost of goods sold itself is really very really like deep deliberation that you can do on it here is the cost of goods sold you have the opening inventory eight purchases fit in and less ending inventory cost of goods sold actually deals with the cost that incurred during the production process that a company goes through for example at uh, the a uh, opening inventory that is on the uh, jan 21st 2018 was the ending inventory at december 31st 2017 and it has become opening inventory for the new year so listen carefully kids then after that you have to add the purchases and free 10 purchases like on january 1st onward 2018 the company has started its production because it has to do more it has to earn more profit and the business is going concern assumption if you go through the first chapter you remember and then after that free 10 transportation cost you will add and this again keep in mind the car the inventory that was ending at december 31st 2018 actually 2018 not the 19 you have to subtract that amount and you will get 92000s then this will be your gross profit from 2 lakh if you subtract 92000 you will get 1 lakh 8000 after that you have to list the operating expenses general and administration expenses and selling expenses general and administration expenses i'm again repeating this thing these are the promotional activities advertising expenses bills salaries expenses and rent expenses and uh, transportation may be some sort of like that 
or uh, like uh, building expenses maintenance repair expenses there are a lot of other expenses this that those all expenses will cover under the gen- general and administration expenses selling expenses are advertising expenses promotional activities that has been done during the year to sell your product and after subtracting this operating expenses you will get the ebit earning before interest and taxes so when you less interest expenses and the taxes you will get your net income balance sheet balance sheet is a financial statement that summarizes and sums up company's assets liabilities and non equity in accounting balance sheet is another main financial statement that is used by the accountant business owners and outsiders it is also referred to the statement of financial position actually for suppose i'm giving you an example if an in income statement for suppose a company shows 2 lakh or 10 lakh maybe if you take in pakistani rupee 10 to 20 lakh per month income and when you go through the balance sheet and it doesn't have any liquid assets and uh, its liquidity ratio or something like that is really very low then you will analyze the company is not doing well because though it's earning enough but actually it doesn't have any liquid ratio that it could, would be converted easily to pay back the debts or whatever components of balance sheet assets liability and non security asset is anything that is owned by the company that may be tangible or intangible tangible are the cash building machinery land car or mach- uh, plants intangible are the copyright put- uh, reputation goodwill that are owned by the business or entity it may be the least also building and land sometimes liability is an obligation that company has to pay to its uh, owners that may be short term or long term and owner equity we get it through the equation that is accounting equation asset is equal to liabilities plus owner equity kids whenever like uh, it, it, it i have analyzed during the even uh, in class that um, uh, most of students uh, forget about the balance sheet and then when i ask them tell me the, about the accounting equation, they will tell fast that accounting equation asset is equal to liabilities plus owner equity that is the balance sheet also is just you have to care about the debit and credit sides when you deal with the balance sheet like this one asset for example i have uh, taken a raw data and then i have uh, converted it into this you can also do the same from the past papers cash current asset account receivable prepaid land and inventory that is also and then fixed assets these are when you sum up these things 172100 and same goes for the account payable accrued expenses and earned revenue the service has been written but you haven't earned the revenue yet and long term liability that becomes 172100 again what is the relation between the income statement and the balance sheet the relationship between them is that the profit of the business shown in the income statement and that belongs to owner and this is shown by the movement in equity when you subtract uh, expenses from revenue you get profit and that profit you have to add in balance sheet in owner's equity section that is the main relationship between income statement and balance sheet that kids have to keep in mind what is the difference between income statement and balance sheet balance sheet and income statement are both fun very important financial statement that detail the financial accounting of a company balance sheet details a company's assets and liabilities at a certain period of time while the income statement details income and expenses that has occurred during a month and then during quarters and then during the year this is the main difference in them and they are really very important 
thank you and uh, i will make another video lecture on this and i'll show you how to solve these actually from the past papers and there's another thing that uh, students should learn about the missing data then how they have to find part suppose if their uh, opening inventory is missing then how you will find it then if the ending inventory is missing then how you will find it and slowly gradually we will we'll cover other topics also so thank you for listening and uh, stay blessed stay home take care